hi guys welcome to our channel in this video we are going to build this calendar by using html css and javascript so this application is built by using html css and javascript so grab your coding tools and get ready to code along with me so as you can see we have a beautiful background with the linear ingredient and also we have a container with two colors and border radius and this date is the date of today as you can see in my computer Friday June 16 2023 and here it's the same so we'll start by by building our structure with HTML and then we'll style this using CSS after that we will make it dynamic by using JavaScript Make sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel for more tech and coding videos. And let's get started. We have an empty folder and VS Code, an empty VS Code. So let's drag and drop into the VS Code. Close this. Maximize. So the first thing we'll do is to create our files. So the first file is index.ml. And I will create another file which is uh, style.css. And the last file which is um, script dot js. Okay, so come to the OHTML and uh, let's shift plus one and yeah enter. That is probably it. So the title of our video is And uh, that's good. All right. Let's link our CSS. I just writing link to CSS. I'll just link it. Come here, bottom of our body for the closing tag, and let's link to our let's link our JavaScript file to our HTML. Script, you can choose script source, and our file name is script. Yes, so it's also connected. Just let's write our HTML tags, it can give us a structure, and then we'll style. Okay, so I'll come here and we'll have div with the class name of hero. Okay, enter, and we'll have another div of Lander. And in that div, let's have another div with the class name of left. In that left, we'll have btech with the ID of date. Okay, and I will write here zero one. Let's enter, and I will have PTEC with the ID of day. And here, let's write Sunday. Sunday. Okay, come here below this. Div, we will have another another div with the class name of right. So let's say dot right, and in that div, we'll have p tag the ID of month. Okay, 
and in that VTEC, we will have January. Okay, January. I'm out of that VTEC, and we will have another VTEC with the AD of here. Okay. And here we will write 2023. It's here. So that's all we need in our HTML. So let's come to our CSS. Okay. Come to our CSS and the first thing is we'll have some our settings. And there's a box sizing for the box. Imagine it's zero. And the uh, bearing so zero. And uh, the other thing is font family. Font family. So I'll set this to bubbles. Bubbles. And sans serif. And serif. Yeah. All right. So that's global setting. So come here and uh, let's grab our first class or our hero section, which was hero. Okay. So I'll say dot hero. And we'll give width of 100%. Hundred percent and the height of hundred VH. It's uh, you bought VH. Okay, and uh, let's come down and uh, give also a background of our page, which was uh, which is linear. So it's a deck from this side and it's blue this, this side. So let's give background to our body. Okay. It's the background. And I will set that to linear. In the ingredient. Okay. In ingredient. And I will set that to first 45 degree. Five degree. And that will have two colors. So I like to use hexadecimal. Sorry. I like to use hexadecimal, so I'll say one seven one four one four, and then the other one will be also hexadecimal, and it will be one C one C nine. It's blue. That's navy and blue. Okay. As that um, let's give display I'll set that to flux and align items and uh, specify content also center SF and let's run our website by using a uh, live server. So I will say go live and that's our website. Okay. So the background didn't apply. Let's let's see what's the problem. So let's rewrite. 
accounts that linear client of FB. Okay, comma and the hexadecimal of one seven one four one four. Okay, and then another small of one C one C A nine A nine. And there we go. So now our background is gradient. All right, so let's style our calendar. So come here and grab our class that was calendar. So let's uh, let's give a width of 500 pixels. And the height of 450 pixels. And then let's give a color of white, small white, and the border radius. Oh, sorry. Am I? Yeah. Well, let's give port radius of 10 pixels. Radius of 10 pixels. And uh, display X. Sorry. X. Align items. Okay. So let's see. Oh, there we go. That's our calendar. So let's style, let's divide this left and right, and let's style this also. Okay. okay. I hope you can see, guys. So let me come here. And let's style our left side or just let's divide our calendar into left and right. So we'll set our left and right both first, and then we'll divide. So let's say dot left. Remember we had a div with the class name of left and another div with the class name of right. So let's style this and the right also. Okay. So height is hundred percent. Height is hundred percent. And a display flex. Display flex. And align items. Sand. And uh display contents. So sand. Okay, let's come down and let's give a uh, font size. So we'll say font size. Let's give 30 pixels. Let's see. Okay, so we have now text is a little bit bigger. Okay. So let's style the right section. Let's style the right section. Okay, dot right. And let's say background. Background color. And let's give a small color of DF and 12. Okay. Um, Let's make it pink. That was pink, right? And a B6. There we go. 
And uh, let's give also a width. And let's set that to 42% of that box, that container. So the right side should be 42% of the container. And let's give border radius, border dash, height, border right, border dash right. Oh, let's say no, no. The dash, top, dash, right, radius. Yeah, and let's set that to 10 pixels. And let's duplicate it and make it bottom here. Let's come here and also left be also width let's set width to 100 minus 100 minus 42 percent is remaining is 58 percent we'll set 58 percent let's see there yeah, there we go so this is our calendar we have to find it now but yeah it's supposed to be um yeah, like this. Oh, so um, to make it like this, we need to go back to our left and right and a display flux. So let's go back, come to left and right, and here we will set flux direction. Set that to column. Okay. So there we go. And now, okay, we need to also increase the size of this. So to increase the size of this uh, this number, let's grab. Let's go to our HTML. We had the first left on zero one we had we have this ad so let's grab that ad and uh, increase the font size okay so come here and uh, ad date ad when you want to grab ad in css you have to write that bound i mean Hash. So let's say font size. And let's set that to 100 pixels. 100 pixels. And line height. And set that to 90 pixels. 90 pixels. Okay. There we go. That's all about our CSS and HTML. Let's go to our JavaScript. So first thing first, let's grab our ADs. We have four ADs, date, day, uh, month, and year. So let's we'll say months. Date equals to document document dot get element get element by ID and that's what date okay date. And the other one, months. Okay, the other one is day. Day equals to the ID. That's day. Month. That's the ID.
Um, it's you. Oh, I see something wrong here. Oh, it's you. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, we have our ADs. We have our ADs. So let's check if it's working. So to check, let's say cons bay bay equals new day new date new date All right oh sorry new date so to check if it's working we'll say lock I'll cancel lock today let's go to our website and inspect right click and inspect and I come to our console and we have an error in line okay we have an error cons date document dot get element by ID date right so let's go back all right so the problem is here document is not document it's document so that's the music let's refresh and we still have the second one there oh all of them sorry let's correct all of them that n is nonsense that's a typing error so now all of them are okay come back and come to console and we have Friday June 16 2023 now we have checked it's working let's come here and remove this console and let's display our date so we need to display our calendar into the website or into our application and to do that now we have seen it on the console so we need it to display it here that's friday 16 june 2023 so Okay, we'll call date. Say date dot in HTML equal is to today dot get date. Okay. Date and the next one is day dot inner HTML equals to today get date right. and the third one is month dot equals to today get month and the other one is year full year so safe and let's run go to our website and we have seen it's 17 17 17 5 all right so there's a mistake here so let's correct it we need to have an array of days and uh, months let's say months let's call this week weekdays and this an array and this array we have 
for this. Let's say Sunday, Friday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So where's Saturday? Okay, so Saturday is missing and it's there. All right, so we need an array of months. So we'll say all months. Okay, all months equals two. And it's an array of that's from January. January. Oh, sorry. January, um, June, July. Let's see. November, November, and we need December. Okay. So we have to December, that we have to 12 months. Now, for this one, the day one, I will cut this and here. We have an empty array. Sorry. And here we'll have week weekdays array and let me see there. And the second one I'll do the same. I will cut it. And I'll say all months and array. Let's see here. Let's see. Oh, today is it's midnight. So it's 17 now. It became 17. All right. But here it's undefined. So let's see why. Oh, yeah. The problem is here. Sorry. Oh, yeah. So it must be. Day, 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 yeah, it's like that. Good day. So let's see now. All right, so it's Saturday, 17 June 2023, and that's all, guys. We have now a dynamic calendar that's changing, as you can see. Now my time has changed to Saturday, June 17, and it's automatically 17 June, as you can see. So it's working. Thanks for watching. Don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button for more tech and coding videos.